Today on Community Cooking, we have guest chef Chris Montes making a pan-fried teriyaki salmon served over a bed of white rice and steamed broccoli. It's sure to be one of the easiest meals you make this week. We're cooking with some of the best chefs from right here in our own community, so grab a seat and relax. We have another great meal for you. This is your Community Cooking. Welcome to Community Cooking. I'm your host, Maria Prekogis, and I am excited to have my friend and guest chef, Chris Montez, with us today. Welcome. Hey, hello. So, I love all your ingredients, but first off, before we get to the cooking portion, tell me okay. about where you work. It's kind of unique. Yes, actually, I work at uh, Providence Health Services. I work in Torrance and San Pedro. And Providence, they have chefs, real live chefs, cooking very healthy meals. I mean, yes. it's not just about the patients getting better there, but about introducing healthy meals and lifestyles to help them get better. Exactly, yeah. And so, also in our cafeteria, too, we do provide healthy meals for you know, employees that come in and doctors and guests I mean, as well. I guess healthy living and eating should start at a hospital. It should. <laughs> it should. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I love it. Well, you brought healthy salmon, great omega-3s. Yeah, we Tell got me. wild salmon. Wild salmon. Wild salmon. Tell me about what we're making today. We're making um, some teriyaki-like sauce with some salmon served over rice and broccoli. I love it. All super healthy. Let's go over the ingredients first, and then we'll start cooking. We've got some soy sauce. We're going to cook it in a, in a saucepan with some garlic, ginger, honey, brown sugar. And then we're going thicken to it thicken it up with some cornstarch and water. And then we're going to pan fry our salmon. And we've got sticky rice. I love why sticky rice. It's a simple meal, simple meal. Super simple. We like Super it simple. healthy, simple easy, and, healthy. and simple. Yes. And I exactly. like that we're making kind of the glaze, the teriyaki-like sauce from yeah. scratch because we can control. Yeah, you never know what you're getting in a bottle. Yeah, you're getting so much sodium and who knows what else. Yeah. And <laughs> who knows what all the coloring. But yeah, this you could make your own at home. Very simple. I love it and. I always say if you don't know what a word means and you can't pronounce it, you probably shouldn't be eating it. So sure. this we I know. I agree. Exactly. All exactly. pure. Yeah. So let's start on the sticky rice um, first because that's going to take the longest. Okay. So you just have white, is it jasmine rice? It's, just, uh, it's just sticky rice, white sticky rice you can find in the supermarket. Because I know everyone likes it when it's sticky. And yes. usually it's, so you put the rice in and then do you put cold water with it? Yes, Obviously. cold water. Okay. Yeah. And about how long? That's about a cup dishes? of rice, okay. and then you would do like a cup and a half of water. All right. And, and rice so cookers are great for this. This much I yeah. know. Yeah, I'm old fashioned. I, I kind of just go with, <laughs> um, yeah, I just do it with the pot. Yep. And um, so we turn it on high to get it boiling, and then turn it down to simmer. Exactly. Then okay. throw a lid on it. All you right. could throw a lid on it too at first to bring the boil faster. Okay. Sometimes it helps with the bigger pots. And this doesn't really make a difference, but... Okay. Yeah, oh. And you brought some with you already cooked, but I, it's always good because I never know whether to rinse the rice or just to yeah. throw it in. Yeah, you could rinse it, but you could just throw it in like that. It's too fine. Because I think the more sticky, the better yeah. with anything Asian yeah, type. Yeah, true. All right, and then the salmon, what about the marinade for it? Or the I guess I should call it the glaze since we're really yes, not marinating yes. it. Um, the glaze, you start that now? Yeah, sure. All right, right just get our saucepan on. About like medium heat. Okay. We're gonna add um, soy sauce. Soy sauce. And you can do light soy to even cut down more. Yeah, this is actually a low sodium. Okay. Soy sauce, and then we have some uh, ginger. And fresh ginger is the best. Yes. I love, love, love fresh ginger. Ginger, and then we have some garlic. That's a lot of garlic. Huh? I was like that. We can add half. I like just eyeballing it or adding. Yeah. All. Yeah. I am Greek, so yeah, yeah. I think I grew up with garlic in my bottle. You never know. Yeah. Some and honey. We're going to do the honey. And honey is such uh, a great substitute for sugar. Exactly, yeah. And then you can always add some too if you like a sweeter. Okay. And then brown we'll do some brown sugar. sugar. Again, we know all of the ingredients by name, so we know it's going to be better for us. Exactly. And maybe we'll just we could keep some aside. If we need some more, we can always okay. add it. But, you know, we can't take it out, so... That's, and you can always taste it, yeah. add more. Yeah, exactly. So while that heats up, tell me, how did you get into cooking, and why do you love it so much? Um, I got into cooking 
Well, I first started my grandmother oh. and my mom, but my grandma cooked more, and I would help out in the kitchen, and that kind of that kind of got me introduced to it. I would make rice, beans, and I would just help cook overall everything. And then as I got older, my first job was at a pizza place, pizza, pasta type stuff, and did that for a few years. And then I got the idea. I said, hey, you know what? Maybe I should be, I, I don't know where I heard it from. I think I was watching a cooking show or something, and I thought, hey, you know what? Maybe I could be a chef. So I went to cooking school, tried it out, and I've been doing it ever since. Now it's been over 10 years or so. That's awesome. What's so unique about working at a hospital in that type of environment instead of a restaurant? Yeah, you know, I've worked restaurants nine years, and it's, it's just it's different. You know, it's a different vibe, and it's, it's different food. It's healthier food. And then we have, um, you know, certain guests that may come in. You know, we have certain patients with certain conditions, so we've got to make sure we meet their nutritional needs to help their healing. And, you know, their protein intake and carbs. You know, they have, we have dietitians and doctors that work together and bring all the stuff together for them, the certain menus. And then we also have a cafeteria, too. And we have good food at the cafeteria. And, you know, we do our best to provide the best meals in our cafeteria as well, too, that are fresh and healthy. It must be pretty rewarding. I mean, I love restaurant work. I did it for yeah. years. Yeah. But to actually be impacting someone's life to be getting more healthy and better after exactly, like an yeah. operation or a certain disease. Yeah. Yeah. It's very. It's more critical, and it's more important. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Good for you, and taking all your skills. I mean, culinary school is not easy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could go back. It's been a while. I wouldn't mind a refresher. <laughs> a little refresher. <laughs> but um. But yeah. I do enjoy what I do. Which is good. So many people yeah. don't. Yeah. We have fun here, so it's a very good thing. All right, so do we get that to right. a boil? Kind of. Not not um not a hard boil. Yeah, not a hard boil, no. Okay. Just and then it calls for some cornstarch. Which to I thicken think is it up. The key to anything to get it thick. And yeah. let me get some more water for it. So you do so you do add a little bit more water if you want? Oh, you're going to make well, a paste first? What I would do is okay. I would add the water in here, kind of incorporate it. Okay. You know, I would kind of, oh, I would add it to um, kind of mix it up. You could use like a sieve too to the lumps, like but you, you don't want a flour, like gravy. You can, but, but adding water. I didn't bring one, so I'll just, I'm only going to add a little bit. I'm not going to add too much because it's already thick enough with like the honey and the brown sugar is going to kind of thicken it up as well. But that's a great tip to put a little water in there first. Yeah, you want to mix up like this, as you would with like, you do like flour, like gravy okay. and stuff. And I think and it's only on low. If you whip it around a little to the left. Yeah, let me get a little. Yeah. You know, I've never used an electric stove before. It's my <laughs> first time. Well, you chefs like your gas stoves, but. And you know what? Uh, so that will thicken it up a bit. I did have a, I did have a fancier spoon I should have used, but. That's all right. And then the salmon. Talk about the wild salmon. Why is yeah, that? Yes, a keto for us? wild salmon. Um, okay. Wild salmon's always better. You know, people sometimes I see at the market they go for the for the farm raised stuff because it's less in price. Yeah. But you you figure out a couple of dollars more, it's 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 more worth it. Um, wild salmon has more omega threes, and the reason for that, once I've read, I didn't is know that. that it does. Yeah. Well, th the reason why is because in the wild. The salmon eat a certain fish, and that certain fish eats a certain algae. So it thus creates a, a salmon with more omega-3s. So you want the wild salmon. And farm-raised, they feed them, you know, who knows what, and their conditions living. You know, it's better in the wild. Yeah. So wild salmon is always recommended. It makes perfect sense, Because people, I love. if you eat salmon, you got to go for the wild salmon. Yeah. I mean, and sometimes, I mean, I eat farm-raised once in a while, but, yeah, if you can, but always. But if you can, go, it's worth it, especially because omega-3s are so important in our diet. Ex exactly, yes. I love it. And we just have some salmon fillets. All right, let's, um, should we get some heat on the fry pan? Yeah. And start our lovely salmon. I never knew that about wild. It makes sense. The salmon eats this, they eat that. Yeah, it's all the, the food it chain. It all comes from the food right. chain. It's all, somehow it works out. I love it. And these fillets, I mean, you can make, is the skin on them? No, they're totally skinless fillets. Yeah. I do like the skin. But I don't mind the skin either. I don't mind the skin, yeah. yeah if, you find, if you find a salmon with skin, go for it. Okay. I just I eat the skin as well. And nice you deboned it. You got de uh, most yeah. of the bones out. You know what? This is already can prepackaged type, okay. type. You know, that's what you, you can find in the supermarkets to make it convenient for people as well. 
Well, and that's what we like easy. Like, it's all these ingredients yeah. are available at supermarkets. Because, like, people get intimidated a lot. You know, they don't want to cook salmon, but people mostly like chicken, steak. But, yeah. you know, it's good to have some fish in your diet, too. I love fish. Yeah. I was a pescatarian, I guess you could say, for a few months way mm -hmm. back when. But, um, and I think you just sometimes, I love my meat and chicken, but you just feel lighter yeah. and healthier. So what's going to be the process? Do we put the oil? Um, yeah, I would... Um, all right, so you want to start the salmon now? Yeah, let's start the salmon. All right, let's start the salmon. All right. It looks so pretty, but we must. <laughs> yeah, all right, time to start we must the salmon. Start the salmon. Um, I always season my stuff, you know. Okay. I know people, a little bit of salt and pepper. You can't go wrong. Yeah. And like you Need said, some always flavor. a little. Need some flavor. Okay. You know. But if you're on a low sodium diet, then don't. Just put some pepper. <laughs> just put some pepper. You know, pepper or whatever. Um, okay. All right, there was. Yeah, just some salt and pepper. Okay. You could even do like, I like to put garlic powder on my salmon, and my fish. I actually do too. Maybe, you know, but if you wanted that too, or any kind of seasoning. Sometimes I use, um, you know, a little bit of like paprika or, or you know. Oh, some make stuff. it a little, very nice. I've never I like spices, I'll like throw cayenne yeah. pepper. No. But, I love spice, yeah. so. Oh, shoot. Things oil in the pan. Things. Now, do All you right. always, do you like to put oil in a hot pan oh. or heat it up simultaneously? Yeah, I like to. Um, you gotta, you know, I like to add oil when the pan's not too, too hot, because then it so smokes. It so kind of when it's in between, when okay. it's, when it's, um, you know, when it's hot enough. But you know, if you run into the mistake where the pan's cold, I mean, it's not gonna kill it. So. Yeah, too so, hot. Usually gonna, when it's kind of warm, yeah. yeah. But especially it depends on the oil you're using because of the smoke point and stuff. Okay. But yeah, Ooh. see, that's what I like to hear. A little, that, you know, a little bit, not too much. Not too crazy. And obviously, we do the salt and pepper side down first, and then we'll salt yeah. and pepper this side. Those All right. are gorgeous fillets. Kind of and of course, you're touching raw seafood, so you want to wash your hands, if you don't mind. Sure, look at that. Sizzle, perfect. Now, salmon doesn't take very long to cook, usually. Um, I mean, I'm a big sushi eater, so that's one thing, but some yeah. people do like their fish cooked, but you don't want to overcook it. Yeah, you don't want to overcook it. Um, okay. So a couple yeah, the minutes per the side, salmon. Usually? Well, see, the thing is, too, is that it depends on the, th on the thickness of the fish. Like, for example, this thinner piece is going to take, it's going to cook Not faster. Not as long. Okay, I have your Spanish. It's going to gonna take, um, you know, it just depends on the, the fish itself. Like, this, this piece here is the thickest piece. It's going to take okay. longer to cook than that thinner piece. So but, you can um, do this simultaneously while the do, yeah. sauce is heating exactly, up. Exactly, yeah. Because we put that over, we don't cook it in it. We just cook it in the oil with a little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And what kind of oil do you like to use to cook with? Um, I use olive oil. Okay. I, I know that I've read some stuff where coconut oil can be healthier and stuff. Um, I even I even use um, safflower oil. Okay. Or some like um, some like quality sunflower oil. Yeah, I try to go like with organic stuff. Which is good. Like you yeah. said, wild fish. And the salmon, you can kind of see. See right here how it's cooking? Yeah. It, see how, like, where the it's changing color? So when it's kind of halfway through, then I'll flip it. Okay. You see where it's kind of like, you can kind of see where it's changing color? And then what you want to do, too, is you don't want to have it too high. Okay. Or the outside, you know, browns faster than the inside it's cooking. So you want to have just, like, the right temp, which this seems pretty good pretty so good. far. Pretty good. So, and do we want to season the top side? You can. Of this? You can if you want, yeah. If you want. I mean, it's optional. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like things equal. Yeah, So we me season too. the bottom, let's no, season the top. you know what? I always do. <laughs> I, I was going to get this in a layer, but. But, so season it while it's cooking. But this is a simple and easy way, you know, to get some wild salmon in your diet, you know? Because people take fish pills and stuff. You want like omega the natural so want, thing. Yeah, the fish is always better. Yeah. And that's cooking up and getting a little thick. I love it. All right. Oh, it smells so good. That's good salmon because it does and not smell fishy. <laughs> yeah. And then, and you could also finish it off here. You could finish it off in the oven if it's really thick as well, too, just depending on what you want to do. Get a nice, I like starting things in the pan just to give it a little more yeah. crisp, but you could definitely do this one in the oven, yeah. too. Or you could sometimes, if you want to get the oven effect, you just throw a lid on it when you flip it or half, you know, for like a couple minutes. I've that done way that. I like salmon, and people don't understand. I mean, just salt and pepper is fine. I love any sort of sauce on top, mm -hmm. especially if it's anything teriyaki-like. Yeah. But, no, super healthy, super easy. Yeah. 
We love it. We love it. And fresh, <laughs> like we said, fresh garlic, fresh ginger is key. Yeah. Um, yeah and you know ginger has some yeah, good exactly. effects. Yeah. Exactly. So on an average, how many meals do you make a day? How many meals? Yeah. Hmm. I'm sure a lot. It depends if, um, well, like at our hospital, I think in Torrance they do like have like 150, you know, patients or to 200. And then San Pedro has around 90 or so. And uh, but I work both. I do. I help out with the patient stuff, but I'm mainly in the cafeteria. Well, and I tell you, having good cafeteria food yeah. in the hospital yeah. is amazing. Um, when you have someone sick in the hospital and you want to visit, you don't want bad food. That just yeah. you want to feel good exactly, too yeah. as the family exactly. members. Yeah. So having that, but that's a lot of beds and that's a lot of meals. Yeah. Yeah, I do my best. You know, people come in. You know, they. You know, I kind of. You got to be sensitive to people. You know, they might have a relative in, in, you know, in a critical state, and you know, so I, I always provide the best customer service I can, and always provide the best food I can too, as well. Which is amazing. Like you said, yeah. the patient alone's going through things, but so is the family yeah. member or friend. Yeah, I you can just never see you with a good, in. Yeah. good, calm personality, taking care of everyone health-wise. And I, I try. Let me lower this now. So that's bubbling away, and I see the salmon. It is. It's about halfway through. That's smelling good, actually. That smells really good. I always say one day we'll have TV with. To be smells. honest, I've never made my own teriyaki sauce. I've always just used the bottle. So <laughs> let's, let's see how it comes out. I well, it smells delicious, so I'm thinking it's going to come out. I should very taste it. Good, yeah, but um, yeah. So, what was your favorite thing your mom or your grandma used to make? What do you remember most about your childhood and cooking? One of your favorite memories. Hmm. Good question. <laughs> good question. <laughs> We're Greek, so it was always well, very loud and lots of food, and yeah. food and meals were where we got. I don't think my mom used to make a lot. Well, she used to make this pesto, pesto pasta with um, sun dried tomatoes, asparagus, peppers, and Ooh, all that yum. stuff. Yeah. I love it. Oh, all right, it's so the salmon's looking, good. yeah, it's looking good. You could so flip we'll, it. Let me see we'll here. Do a little flip flip. Oh, that one looks perfect. Oh, Look at that. Look at that mess there. All right, while we flip the salmon over and let it cook just a little bit longer, it's, we're gonna take a quick break, don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're gonna show you how to make the perfect broccoli to go along with all this goodness. Stay tuned. Did you go tanning? You're getting so tan. We need some sun. Protect yourself, protect your friends, stop tanning. Learn more at SpotSkinCancer.org. Be on the lookout for the dreaded digital dead walkers. Dude! They're not looking out for you. Engage! A public service safety message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Welcome back to Community Cooking. If you're just joining us, I'm with the guest chef, Chris Montez. And our salmon is just about done. It smells delicious. The rice is done. The sauce is done. Broccoli. Oh, waiting for bro oh, yeah. Let's broccoli. Look at the broccoli going. We're hungry. No, so I know we are hungry. When am I not hungry? So you have a steamer. Yes. Which is great because a lot of people put it in water and I think it gets a little mushy. Yeah. If you don't have one of these, you could. I mean, if you have to, you know, use a regular pan. Just you could put a little bit of water. Okay. Like half an inch, just a little bit, and then throw a lid on it, and it can do the steaming effect. And you want to have? We have the water boiling at a pretty fast boil. You throw it in. Do you mm -hmm. put salt in your water for the broccoli? Or is no, that just no. a weird thing that I've heard in the past? Well, you do so like pasta. So yeah. I, but this, to steam this, no. I don't think it'll make any effect. All right. And Unless maybe some chefs do, but I've, ne I've never done it. You've never done it? Yeah. And then we want it to be a nice bright green, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. You Without being over, overcooked. You don't want to overcook it. I like mine kind of al dente. You know, you want to. Me too. You want to, yeah. You don't want to cook away all the nutrients, so you want to. That yeah. too, but steamers, if you don't have one, I think it's a great investment because yeah. you can do so many different vegetables and like you said, you don't cook away all the nutrients and broccoli is so good for you. Yeah, exactly. It's one of, I mean, yeah. high in fiber and any mm -hmm. of the super green veggies, we know we're good. Yeah. <laughs> we know we're good. And it's a great accompaniment to the salmon with the sauce because it kind of, you know, it's a good crunch, it's a good veggie, yeah, exactly. a full meal. Yeah, exactly. A yeah. full meal. We like <laughs> full meals. So about how long do you usually do the broccoli for? It's not going to take long at all. I would say five minutes or so. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's you can even use frozen broccoli, too. People, if they're already, you know, um, we got this from the farmer's market, so you cut it up. But, um, you know, you, if you don't go to the farmer's market and you're at the market, you can always get frozen and cook and frozen And you're feeling as well. lazy like me sometimes. You know, um, it's okay. 
But I love it. All right, so yeah. just a few minutes. And then minutes you kind of check on the broccoli. It cooks fast sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you might not look at it for a few minutes, and then next thing you know, it's like, oh, it's over. It's overcooked. done. Yeah. Well, that's something. It's a super easy, fast meal, but you want to pay attention when you cook. Yeah. Just exactly. No, you know, you don't want to overcook things. You want to pay attention, but mm. this is a meal you can whip up easily. It's a meal good for kids, too, I believe. Yeah. I mean, my kid likes salmon. My kid likes broccoli. So, you know, I it's a quick that. meal for the family. And so you've done something right if your mm -hmm. child likes their vegetables. Yeah. Well, he likes some vegetables. But some. Yeah, How old? Some. He's only seven. Oh, I love it. He likes good. broccoli. Broccoli is a yeah, tough he likes one. Broccoli. And he likes carrots, yeah. Some too. But everything else, I try to give him celery. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he does like some stuff. Sometimes, you know, depends. I love it. Well, the broccoli is almost done. Should we start plating up the rice and the fish and the sauce? If you want, yeah. Yes, please. I said, you know, we're hungry. So there's so no the messing around. sticky rice is all done. Oh, the kind sticky. Kind of it up. Sticky rice is the best. Here, while you're there, we'll swap plates mm. for the rice. I figured you have to dine with me from your beautiful creation. Oh, yeah, stuff like this, salmon and anything like teriyaki Asian, I love it. Right. All right, that one's yours. It's more rice. I know, it's a lot of rice. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, That's my eyes are right. bigger than my stomach sometimes, you know. All right. <laughs> and all right. some salmon on the plate. Oh, it's just PC gorgeous. One. One your pass. your choice. Up to you. Yeah, that one. We'll do that one. Uh, you have to place it just oh, right. You're a chef. I, I try. I try. You're a chef. I love it. And you know what? Something as little as this, just put instead of just yeah. sticking the salmon on the plate, really adds. Yeah. Okay. I wish How's you guys that? could have seen the salmon I made in my house. I have this big old filet. But, <laughs> but well, next, next time. All right. Let's check on the broccoli. All right, broccoli. I'm thinking. You know what? It's bright green. Yeah, I think it's good. What the heck? Let's add some broccoli and to our plate. There's times you could just um, you could just taste one to see, you know, how okay. juicy this thing's gonna get. Sure. Some broccoli. Oh yeah, see that's perfect. See? Oh, I like my veggies too. And then <laughs> <laughs> All right, broccoli for you, sir. Look at how, and you know what? It's so colorful. The plate, I love. Yeah, I think it took under 30 minutes, right? Oh yeah, totally under 30 minutes. So now the sauce. Would you drizzle it on the salmon? Wherever you like it. Um, I, think I like mine on my salmon, right? Okay. I like teriyaki all over the place. But I'm going to do a little bit on the salmon. A little bit on the salmon. More. Okay, perfect. All right, well, you're about to get yours. We're going to take a quick break, and we will come back and taste this wonderful creation. Don't go anywhere. Yeah, we'll be right back. You're watching Community Cooking. Drownings are a leading cause of death for young children. Make sure kids learn how to swim. Always watch them in and around water and properly fence all pools. Simple steps save lives. To learn some new ones, visit PoolSafely.gov. It's about putting others first. It's doing your best at whatever you do. It's all of these. It's commitment. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. Welcome back to Community Cooking. I am with Chris from Providence, and it's my favorite part. I have fork in hand. Yeah. Shall we? Our Hold beautiful teriyaki-like sauce over wild salmon, broccoli. I have to taste everything, and our white rice. So it came out. My first time oh. making teriyaki sauce from scratch. You can tell it's from scratch because you can taste all the flavors. They meld together perfectly. Yep. You can pick out a little brown yeah, sugar, actually, a little really soy. Good, yeah. Isn't that yummy? It actually is. And the broccoli is done perfectly. Mmm. Now, people can get great meals at Providence and come see you. Yeah, they Great, can. healthy meals. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you? You don't have to be sick. Go eat his good food. <laughs> I love yeah, it. I'll hook you guys up. Oh, it's really good. And the rice is perfect. Look, you're like, it is good. It is, yeah. Why wouldn't you do a sauce from scratch? I we know. know all the ingredients. I know. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. It was so fun. Easy, quick, healthy meal. Exactly. Super easy. We love it. On behalf of Chris, myself, and the entire crew, we thank you for joining us. And please do try this recipe at home. It is delicious. And remember, we really do have some of the best chefs right here in our own community. Case in point. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time on Community Cooking. <music>
If you'd like a copy of the recipe seen on this show, send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to the Office of Cable and Community Relations. That's 3350 Civic Center Drive, Suite 200, in Torrance, California, 90503. Be sure to note the show number displayed on the screen. And don't forget, you can find all the fresh ingredients used on today's show at the Farmer's Market. Visit the one here in Torrance at Wilson Park. That's located at 2200 Crenshaw Boulevard. They're open every Tuesday and Saturday from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. rain or shine. And if you'd like to be a guest on our show, email us at communitycooking at torrentca.gov and check us out online at youtube.com slash torrentcitycable and like us on Facebook at Community Cooking TV.